Hey everybody! Welcome to Halo RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd and this is the roughly 5350 pound Freedom Express 246 RKS Coachman Ultralight here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And it is one of the, the most popular models that comes out of this camp and for very good reason. It gives us excellent towability great storage, awesome sleeping space, and the kind of like window coverage in the living room you just really struggle to find in smaller travel trailers nowadays. Those big door side windows really seem to be harder and harder to find, and you get them here. You also get things like a heated underbelly, taller ceiling, Asdell, just a laundry list of big hitter features, carpetless flooring, ventless, big 12 volt fridge. The list just keeps going. It is one of those 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack kind of campers that I love having here. Along the way, if you see something you like, let us know. Leave us a couple comments. And if there's one thing you'd like to change, leave us a little note on that too. You'd be surprised how much your feedback can actually get back to the manufacturer to help improve the campers even more. And this floor plan is just like a perfect storm of so many good things. I love what Freedom Express does in general. The combination of the, the taller ceiling for a bigger person like me, the true queen bed, the lighter colors, it makes the whole RV just look and feel lighter, brighter, bigger, and better. This is ventless. This is carpetless. This is easy cleaning. You can see you've got a free-floating table over here. I would say you could take it outside for picnic time, but you're not going to need to due to the fact that this camper has its own picnic table. We will often outfit these with a larger air conditioner, and they put in a really good lighting package in here. Also, each air vent can turn and close independently to really give you good control over what's happening with your air conditioning system. Maybe you like to be uh, the type of person that has air blowing right on them. Maybe you don't. It doesn't matter. Freedom Express has you covered. And there's something magical about this rear kitchen arrangement right here. They pack so much storage into this thing in such a small space. And that's kind of the funny thing with smaller campers. Usually, you have to start making concessions, but I really don't feel that way about this one. Uh, especially over here. Little camper, lightweight, half-ton, big SUV towable. We got that big 12-volt DC compressor fridge option over here. If you're not familiar with those, they give us significantly more cold storage capacity. They cool vastly faster, roughly about four times more quickly than a passive absorption fridge like you have in here standard. They are travel safe. You can use them uh, you know, in transit, in a tunnel, uh, on a ferry. It doesn't matter. At a gas station, nothing to worry about. But what makes it so brilliant is the way that what we're looking at over here, where those drawers and that pantry is, that is actually encapsulated within the slide out. And the uh, combination of features that they have right there, I think is just really, really smart because it really maximizes the total storage you have in here. Now, down below, they used every little space they could. You can see how that is kind of partitioned off a little bit. They uh, wanted to make sure there's things like water pumps back there. They wanted to make sure uh, that, you know, your shifting cargo didn't ac accidentally damage anything. We have, of course, the Freedom Express utensil drawer right here which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's easily the best use of space I've seen under a sink ever. And that's what I like about this kitchen. It's really good for, you know, say a growing boy like me, although I do seem to be growing wider and not taller here as I age. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way. You can see the uh, hidden hinges on the cabinets there. That is actually going to help keep everything in place. And just to give you a reference for the sizing here, I put one of the sink covers in that cabinet to give you an idea of how large, how deep that cabinet is. So if you're actually looking for something that is sink friendly, you do have it here. You can also see we've got nice stainless sinks. So, uh, you know, if you're like me and you have a bad habit of dropping things, you're not going to worry about dinging up the sink because, you know, it's a little bit more heavy duty. And those big double windows right there, that is actually something they do really well in here. They give us some really good window coverage. And then it's just those little details, like little string anchor for the window shades. That is classic RVing stuff that they're still doing here. And like Catalina does that quite a bit as well. A lot of brands just quit doing that though. So you always have to deal with that string dangling down everywhere and you won't have that problem here. And by the way, in case you're curious, you'll see some power outlets under these overhead cabinets right there because on a uh, ultralight wall, it's really hard to run uh, wiring in the laminated walls. So they tend to put it in the bottom of a cabinet, but they actually just kind of hide it real seamlessly so you don't have to worry about seeing it inside of here. It's really smart. Now using those kitchen cabinets as a reference here, swinging ourselves past the big super slide, it is one of the more interesting super slides I've seen because when you look at it, 
you see a lot of cabinetry and then you see a sofa over here. It's just a really interesting combination of factors. It's a really smart use of space. Now the whole camper uh, on the floor here is carpetless. There is theoretically some carpet on the top of that slide box right there. I'm, you know, not blind. I can see that too, but you're not walking there. I don't think that's too big of a deal. Again, carpetless, ventless, easy cleaning. And uh, when you look over here, you see that big breeze window, you'll see another one of those directly across from the dinette. I would say it would blow your hair off, but as balding as I am now, I don't really have a good beat on that, guys. Uh, now, there's some serious storage space going on here on the other end of the slide, and that's the thing. This is a very unconventional, but very effective super slide. And I tell you what I like about this is the way that they have this partitioned off, this section right here mirrors that that we saw over in the kitchen and the pantry. So it gives the living room a very symmetrical look and feel, especially with the way they have those big, large side stands. If you sit down with your dinner plate and you forget something, you actually have a place to set down a, a plate, drinks, you know, especially when you're using what I call the simulated cinema seat with the fold down armrest here in the sofa. You can see the USB plugs helping you keep your phone going. There's some lights in there too, so you can see where you're leaving your drink at night. And by the way, all of these countertops are sealed edge pressed membrane so that if you want to, uh, you know, well, not if you want to, but if you're like me and you do happen to spill something, it's not going to really like cause a whole lot of damage. Now, um, when we get over here, something else I want to show you is the fact that look at how tall the slide is. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. And remember, this is a taller ceiling that's giving us a little bit bigger cabinetry and through the whole camper again, more headspace. And I tell you, my wife says, I need all the headspace I can get with my big head. I'm not exactly sure what she meant by that, though. Can you guys help me out here? So inside of here, we'll get to the bedroom storage in a minute, but this is really going to work alongside your bedroom storage. You see how you have a hanging storage rack at the top there, and then this is just all wide open. Now, I've seen different manufacturers tackle this space differently, but I've never seen someone do it, I think, quite as intelligently and effectively as Freedom Express. It's a small RV with good storage elsewhere. I think the inclusion of extra hanging storage is really smart here, but you could just as easily put some shelf units in here. Uh, do me a favor, chime in and leave me some comments. Let me know, like, what would you do in this space over here? Like, what would you store and where? I'm always curious to see, like, how somebody would move in, you know? And a handy little boot bench right there. If you need a place to sit down, slap on a pair of shoes or whatever, great little spot to do that. That will come in handy when we are sliding through the trailer with the slide closed in just a minute. Now, something else I want to point out to you here, these windows, I already showed you the big sofa window. Directly across from that, we have this huge viewing window on the camp side of the RV. It opens for airflow, it has a blackout shade. If you want to be able to see what is going on outside, you got the perfect view to do it. And just to really maximize your coverage right over here in the door, we have the exact same thing. Obviously, the weather's being uh, kind of like me as a little brother, a little snotty right now. <clears throat> up top, we've got that control panel up where the little kids can't get to it. And I speak from experience because I burned up my grandparents' water heater when I was a little guy camping with them. That is a true story, by the way. And the TV can pivot around for easy viewing no matter where you're setting. So, well, I guess unless it's the toilet or the bedroom, but, you know, I think nowadays a lot of us, if we're really looking for uh, bathroom entertainment, tend to play in our phones. A any Anybody? Anybody else? Anybody else playing their phones when they're in the bathroom? I, I know it's not just me, r right? At least, um, you know, I hope someone else has had that kind of shared experience. Otherwise, this just got very awkward very quickly. <laughs> Again, a little bit taller ceiling means a little more storage all over the place. And the entertainment corner over here with the TV pivoted out of the way. HDMI, Bluetooth, we got some USB plugs, and a very handy shelf up top giving you the ability to expand your entertainment center to really however you please. And then as we come back here, we don't, we, we've never really felt like open and exposed to the bedroom. And I think it is due to this interesting, uncommon uh, vertical storage cabinet right here with that extra counter space on it. It is really acting in a way as a privacy divider. Now it has storage, you can see it has household outlets right there. There's a bunch of cool things you can do with it. But for me, it defines when we're leaving the living room and we're entering the bedroom, the kind of privacy domain back here. Now, you see, you do have a, a curtain there you can pull across if need be. Most of the time, it's probably just going to be one or two of you in here, though. Full overhead cabinet space, not just a shelf, and that windshield just letting in a flood of light, plus more 
cross breeze windows, mirrors on the doors to make it even brighter in here, and pardon the TV box this RV just arrived from the factory. I forgot to tuck that away. I normally do that. Sorry about that. Um, not to mention the fact we also have a vent above the bed for light and airflow. There's a lot of really cool things that's going on here. This is a 60 by 80 true queen bed, by the way. So kind of like the taller ceiling, longer bed for easier, uh, you know, nights and more comfort. Taller ceiling and longer bed being more comfortable for taller RVers like myself. I don't think I quite spat that out correctly. But the storage under this bed is one of my favorite things on these new Freedom Expresses. So the bed gets all the way up out of the way. It makes it easy for us to see that you have household and USB outlets. And I'm 6'3 walking around in here. When you get it up out of the way, if you need a place, you can stand and use that as a dressing room. The tops of these things are surprisingly robust. If you need to kind of just sit down for a minute, you need to fold some laundry, uh, anything. You get the idea. You could, like, what would you guys use this for? I could see this being useful as something like a small desk because with these cutaway feet, you could use something like a small portable folding table, tuck the feet under one side and have enough room to kind of set across from it on the other and make yourself a little mobile work camping station. By the way, this RV's TV antenna uh, has an upgrade available where you can make it uh, Wi-Fi enabled. And then over here, both sides of the bed also have these extra large dresser drawers but they open outward instead of inward. I've seen an underbed storage concept like this from some other brands, and I liked it overall, but I like this one better because you don't have to lift the bed to get to the drawers. Most of them, you do. So it's smart, it's flexible, it's clean, it looks good. It's just, well, and frankly, last year to get to the underbed storage, Freedom Expresses did not even have gas struts. So that in and of itself, I think is a significant improvement. And then over here, right next to that, we pivot to the bathroom. And that taller ceiling is immediately beneficial, again, for a taller person like me, able to stand in the shower very comfortably. Large radius shower, too, like you'd find in a fifth wheel, meaning even at, like, I've got long arms. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a very gangly with a funny bulbous midsection kind of dad bod. So I, I like to have that elbow room. Similarly, good leg room on here. And that is a porcelain foot flush stool, by the way. A little bit nicer if you uh, need to do some heavier scrubbing on it. Nice little place there to keep a couple towels drying out right below the uh, ceiling vent fan. So that if, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure those towels don't get musty and moldy, you don't have to. And then in the morning, I can see how much hair I've lost before I go outdoors and greet the neighbors in my pajama pants while holding a baggie of dog poop in the morning. Because, you know, you walk the dog right away, and if you're a decent person, you pick up after your pets. Now, if we close the slide out and take a look at travel access, you can fully access this RV for transit if you plan ahead, which is what I've done here. I've left the bathroom door open. Now you'll want to secure the bathroom door. You never want that just flapping in the breeze when you're flying down the road. And from the factory, it doesn't have like a hold back or a clip or anything. So you're going to want to make sure that you get something like a really heavy duty floor stop or you do something to really hold that door in place, bungee cord it somehow, I don't know. Because the bathroom door normally will bump into this slide right here when you uh, open the door. But if you have it open all the time, you can get through here to the bathroom and you see that you do have a little narrow pathway here. Or if we take a couple little sideways travel trailer two steps, we can work our way back from the bedroom uh, to the living area or from the uh, living area to the bedroom as it were. It just kind of depends on what it is you're looking to accomplish. Now, even with my big bulky boots, I can get through there. And here's a little pro tip from your Uncle Joshy RV nerd. When you are traveling with a dinette table, it is highly advised you fold it down for transit so the table isn't inclined to uh, wiggle, fall, bounce, and bang into other things because obviously that's the exact opposite of what it is you're looking to accomplish. One of the first things to talk about on a Coachman laminated RV is the fact that they are one of the original users of Asdell, actually. If uh, you're not familiar with that word, Asdell, if you're kind of new to RV, I know there's a lot of first timers out there and a lot of seasoned RVers that might want to learn about that. It is the layer directly under the fiberglass of a Freedom Express RV. Normally, in most laminated RVs, you would find Luon right there. Asdell is a Luon wood panel substitute. The material itself is lighter weight, cannot rot, mold, mildew. It acts as uh, 
a pretty hefty moisture barrier helping make sure that water penetration, aka leaks, don't get into the RV and cause rot in the walls. Now, if you neglect an RV long enough, bad things can still happen. So you need to remember, you as the owner are still the number one determining factor in an RV's longevity. That is just kind of one of those things, sort of like if you're cheating at poker and stacking the deck in your favor. Power jack on the front doing the heavy lifting for us. Twin 20 pound tanks, so they're easy swaps on a Sunday. You can see that we have a battery disconnect switch up front here, so if you're like me and you always forget some lights on inside the camper, you won't eat up your battery when you come back. And Freedom Express puts their spare tires on the tongue here. It helps with load equalization, and uh, it also keeps the rear bumper open should you choose to add some accessories. You can see how the windows are tinted. That will help keep the sunshine out, keeps the camper a little bit cooler, keeps the little nosy neighbors at bay. And over here, right next to our hookup station, we have a uh, outside shower and black tank flush. And this is one of the very few models from Freedom Express that did not used to have a heated underbelly, but as you can see, they all now have a heated and enclosed belly every single Freedom Express to give you that extended season camping. So like right now it's in the 20s, it's in the high 20s. This camper will still be able to keep up just fine with that because you're going to keep the underbelly and the pipes and everything protected. Now over here we're looking at wide stance stability axles which is a really cool way to make this lightweight not too long trailer tow even nicer. So uh, let's say you've got something more like a, a bigger SUV instead of like a half ton pickup this is going to be an absolutely ideal fit for you and your household. I want to point out that ladder there and the way that it sticks up past the roof line quite a bit. That is an absolutely phenomenal safety item Coachman is doing right here. But keep in mind, it actually sits below the air conditioner shroud, so it is not increasing the height of the RV. Instead, what it is doing is giving you something bigger, larger, uh, easier to grab onto and safer when you are going up and down the awning space there. Now they put pretty much the biggest patio awning on this thing that they possibly could. And at a glance you're saying, yeah, they could have extended the awning back a little bit, and they actually could not due to the fact that you have something down here which is actually pretty cool. There's a pocket of space inside the RV that you couldn't really utilize for interior storage. So Coachman said, we ain't gonna waste it. We're gonna give you this giant drawer here. Now in years past, that actually was occupied by an optional slide-out free-floating Coleman camp grill, but they don't use those for cooking anymore. Instead, they have another idea. And you'll see that as we cruise past the stable steps here. One nice thing about the LCI steps is they actually hang down a little lower, so it's easier to clear that anti-slam door. Uh, that is something that you know, people don't realize if you're not paying attention to how the legs are adjusted on this and you just go to fling that door shut, you don't want to kind of bend up the trim at the bottom of the door. It's not going to hurt the door unless you just go hulkster out of your way to do it, but it's just nice to not have to worry about it. Slick looking aluminum wheels, TV hookups, but that cooker situation I was telling you about. What you're going to see is that very similar to like a Rockwood RV. These come with their, uh, their own little kind of outdoor prep shelf. And what you'll see in the past there, there's a couple boxes that contain the bracket and an outside griddle which will hook up right down here where you got yourself a propane cooker hooker. And, uh, you know, whether you want to use the griddle that comes with the camper standard, if you want to swap it out for something of your own choosing, I know Blackstones are very popular. Fact is, though, you can use whatever you want. That is what we're looking at right there in the two boxes. And this box up top here is an outdoor picnic table that's included with Freedom Express RVs, two foot by four foot. And if you wanted to, you could bring that inside table outside and have all kinds of stuff. That little easily removable sticker there, they make it easy to remove, by the way. So if you don't want it there, you don't got to look at it. That is a uh, where the prep stuff is located for a, a charge controller because this RV has standard roof solar prep. I'm not going to be able to get you up there today because the weather. I do need to prioritize a little bit of safety if you want me to keep these videos coming. This has, just like under the awning, a full light across the pass-through as well. And the view is blocked a little bit by those boxes, but think of how big the grills are and griddles that come with campers and how it's dwarfed by the size of this pass-through. Freedom Expresses are fantastic at huge outside storage. So if you like what you've seen with the camper, hit the little like button. And if you appreciate the information we're providing and the content we're creating, hit that subscribe button because, folks, we sure have a whole lot more coming. Now, I've gone over this RV very briefly, and this is a very big purchase. I, you know, I expect that you have some more questions. Leave me comments and I'll do my best to fill them in. Maybe I've flubbed my word somewhere. I certainly have done that before. And uh, when you're ready, we're ready. We don't do hidden dealer fees. We're family owned and operated. 
we just do everything else, like hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, and I'd like to think put out some pretty dynamite video content. But maybe I'm biased. So when you're ready, we're ready. Until then, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Hale at Camping, everyone.